a royal triumph. Beaming Queen congratulates Gold Cup winner Frankie Dettori, as she enjoys her third day at Royal Ascot with Eugenie, Zara, and Autumn. The Queen was all smiles at Royal Ascot this afternoon as she congratulated Gold Cup winning jockey Frankie Dettori after he romped to victory on Stradivarius, his fourth triumph of the day. Her Majesty broke with her royal blue tradition as she donned a stunning dove grey coat and floral silk dress with accents of lemon yellow to Ladies' Day. The monarch, 93, arrived for the afternoon of racing in an open-top carriage alongside her son Prince Andrew, Duke of York, 59, daughter Princess Anne, 69, and her husband Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence. Having worn traditional pale blue for the past two days of the meet, Queen Elizabeth II opted for a departure from her usual bright color palette, and completed her look with a pleated hat with spike flowers and a striking floral brooch with complementing yellow diamonds, which was a present from the Sultan of Oman. She coordinated perfectly with her daughter the Princess Royal, who looked elegant in a pale green ensemble with a subtle nod to her mother's yellow theme and her accessories. They were followed in the second carriage by Princess Eugenie, 29 who wore a beautiful forest green dress with a hat by Bundle McLaren featuring a striking twisting feather. The royal was joined by Mr. James Fellows, who founded the Bridge of Hope Charity Initiative, which helps people who have fallen off the career ladder get into horse racing, and the Viscount and Viscountess Brookborough. The third and final carriage carried a grinning Zara and Mike Tyndall with the Queen's granddaughter stunning in a teal dress by Claire Missivany and a complimenting sculpted hat by London milliner Juliette Botterell. They were joined by Peter and Autumn Phillips, who looked dazzling in a floral dress by Claire Missivany and an ivory cocktail hat by B. Smith. With the clue in the name, Royal Ascot is hugely popular with the monarchy and Her Majesty has attended every year since ascending the throne, and this year has been no exception. Having been forced to whip out a brawly yesterday, the Queen will have been relieved that the heavy rain has cleared and been replaced with glorious sunshine. They were joined by Peter and Autumn Phillips, who looked dazzling in a floral dress by Claire Missivany and an ivory cocktail hat by B. Smith. With the clue in the name, Royal Ascot is hugely popular with the monarchy and Her Majesty has attended every year since ascending the throne, and this year has been no exception. Having been forced to whip out a brawly yesterday, the Queen will have been relieved that the heavy rain has cleared and been replaced with glorious sunshine. Unsurprisingly, hats were the focus of many racegoers' outfits, with flowers, feathers and beading all on display. One woman went for a gravity-defying self-pouring teapot, which hung above a stream of flowers that poured into her hat. Even animals got in on the action and a well-behaved dog was spotted sitting down with a tiny top hat on his head. Visitors to the Royal and Queen Anne enclosures have to abide by a strict dress code, which does not allow bare midriffs or strapless dresses, but for guests in the Windsor and other enclosures the rules are more relaxed. While there is no official prize on offer for best dressed lady as there is at other race meetings, ticket holders were still eager to put their best foot forward. Up to 300,000 people are due to descend on the event over the course of five days and naturally the stylish day out is a magnet for celebrities, and is predicted to be a star-studded occasion. The term Ladies' Day was first used in 1823 when an anonymous poet described the Thursday of the annual meeting as Ladies' Day, when the women, like angels, look sweetly divine.